YouTube welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be one of my try it with me videos I got a request from Miss Charlene Smith to do a review of the bare minerals complexion rescue hydrating foundation stick and that is a mouthful and of course I jumped at the chance because I love bare minerals products I love the fact that we have ventured out of doing all of these powder foundations and ventured into sort of liquid and stick foundations um so I wanted to try it out myself so thank you so much to Miss Charlene Smith for asking me to do the review gave me an excuse to buy this foundation stick and try it um, I picked it up in the shade Chestnut because in the original Complexion Rescue, the Tinted Moisturizer, I have it in the shade Chestnut. So we have it in the shade, the shade Chestnut. This is what the shade Chestnut looks like. It looks really good. Like when I just put it next to my skin, it looks like it's going to be a really good match. Hopefully it won't like oxidize and turn red on me. I am crossing my fingers. Um, I have some notes here because I want to like share some things with you and make sure you know all there is to know just in case you want to buy this foundation. First off, it is $32 and you do get 35 gram, 0.35 gram, 0.35 ounces of product or 10 grams of product in the stick. It has SPF 25. It also comes in 20 shades, so it has a decent shade range and when I looked online, it's a decent shade range. I mean, you may we may have like five or six shades for women of color, but it's a decent a decent shade range. It is a vegan formula, they say, and it's enhanced with, and I have to look down to see this, 30% enhanced mineral water. They call it a clean water-based liquid foundation in a stick. So when I put it on, I fully expect to feel moisturization so in a sense it's water-based um if you have like combination skin like i have i don't expect to have like overactive oil situation going on up in here so um they claim that this foundation is supposed to hydrate your skin immediately and over time and they say that it's supposed to um hydrate the skin like 146 percent hydration over after using it for two weeks we shall see so i'm going to try it on one half of my face with a beauty blender or real technique sponge and the other half i'm going to be using the royal and lang nickel motor brush so we will see what the coverage looks like with a brush and with a sponge so we're going to get started. I have only a moisturizer on my face that I put on maybe about a half an hour ago. I am not going to put any primer on my face. I don't want to add anything else to my face because it's, it's supposed to be hydrating. So we are just going to do the stick foundation straight to the face. What I am going to do is to... Um, spray the brush before i use it just so it can like be a little bit easier blending it in and i do need to go wet my sponge so i will be right back all right so i'm back sponge is nice and plump i am going to use just the my mario badescu spray and just sort of missed missed this brush here just a couple of times just missing the brush i am going to apply the foundation directly to my skin and can you even see it looking at it and oh yeah I can instantly feel the moisture the, the hydration it feels so good going on my face um looking at it in person though little more red than I would want it to be but we'll see if it balances out i am going to use this brush first and just sort of blend it in and actually as i blend it in i really like the coverage and like i said before it is a medium buildable coverage and it doesn't feel heavy like i don't feel it on my skin at all 
So this is what sort of one application looks like. Like you can sort of see the that my skin is a little bit more even on this side than it is on this side. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit after I um do the other application. But this is what it is looking like. Decent shade make a match a little bit more red than my regular skin tone but we will blend this buddy all the way down to here just so we can not look crazy i'm not going outside today anyway so but that is what that looks like with the moda brush and i'm going to apply it to the left side of my face now and hopefully you can see it but it feels really really good and smooth and you can feel the water in the in the formula let's put some on my nose and across here you can feel the water in the formula when i when you put it on all right let's see so we're going to use my real techniques sponge And of course, when you want a more sheer coverage, use a sponge. And a more full coverage, use a brush. But I actually really like what it looks like with the sponge as well. and true to their claim it does not look cakey at all i'm going to put another and be careful this thing is really fragile like i already put a dent in it but um i'm just going to sort of dot a little bit more on another layer on just to test the and we'll put like extra up under my eyes because i'm not doing a concealer today I think my forehead is what's <laughs> making it sort of break apart. If you can see there's like a little dent. And hopefully, yeah, you can see like it's a, there's a little dent right there. I don't know if it's me being too rough or if it being just, this is just what happens because of the formula. So I'll try to be more gentle with the stick. All right, and I think that this second one, let's just buff it in completely with the brush this time. See if our coverage is a little bit more, and it does seem to build up very nicely. It does build up very nicely and this just makes me like agree with my little statement even more. If you want a fuller coverage, use your brush. Still, it's still not heavy on my skin. I can't feel anything on my skin at all. And I think this coverage is pretty nice. This is like more of a full coverage. And I'm just going to sort of tap it in. It's supposed to sort of melt into your skin so it doesn't look cakey. But we shall see. Now looking at this in my mirror in real life here, this looks so good on my skin. I don't know. They do say it has like all day wear, but they didn't give like an amount of time. Like they didn't say like 16 hour coverage or 12 hour coverage. So Okay. And this is what it is looking like on my skin. I will zoom in a little bit and hopefully I'm zooming the right way. Yeah. 
I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see that this is what it looks like on my skin. I would still do a little bit of concealer under my eyes but other than that, it made my skin very even. It does make my skin look radiant. It does not look cakey. It does feel moisturizing and not oily. So if you have combination skin or oily skin, I would say yes, try it because it's water-based. And if you have dry skin, I don't think it would cling to like the dry patches or anything. And it would hydrate your skin at the same time. So I think it's perfect for dry skin really good on my skin my face and i think this is going to go in my makeup basket next week all right you all so that is my try it with me i am not good with coming back to let you all know um how it lasts the only thing i can tell you is that i'm loving the way it looks now if i remember i'll come back more than likely i won't come back so i'm just going to tell y'all i like it now and Thank you all so much for watching. This is available, I think, at Ulta. It's available, of course, at QVC. Pretty much anywhere you can buy bare minerals, you can pick this up. Uh, QVC, I think, has it for like $29.12. I think. If it is, I'll, I'll put that up here. That Yes, it is available for $29.12. Everywhere else is available for $32.00. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thanks to Charlene for asking me to review it. I really like it and I'm happy to have it in my collection. If you all enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.